All right, everybody, I've got something a little bit different for you today. Whoa, I uh, just dropped my wife off at the airport. She's leaving for a week. Um, so today I'm gonna go uh, hang out with one of my buddies who does motocross. Um, so you'll meet him later. And um, we should all be Come on, lift. Thank you. Stupid airport. No wonder that line was so slow. All right, let's figure out where we're going here. Coming out of DFW Airport is always so confusing unless you come here all the time. Uh, never eat shredded wheat. Okay, so we're gonna go west on 114. Yes, I think I just did say never eat shredded wheat. That's how I remember my um, <laughs> my directions. Um, and I have to even do like the never eat shredded wheat and then kind of mentally picture where east and west is. All right. Matter of fact, let's call him and see where he's at. Call Jason Lazaraga. Calling Jason Lazaraga. Siri never gets it right. Hello. Hey man, are you headed out there? Um, almost. <laughs> I'm, I had to go to the dealership first. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I just dropped my wife off at the airport, so um, I'm on 114 headed towards Decatur now. Uh, I got to go back to my house and, and actually load up, and then I'll be headed out there. Okay. Um, where is it going to be? Um. It's called Oak Hill MX. It's in Decatur. Okay. And it should be. I can um, Google it and get nav to there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you Google Oak Hill MX, it, it, it'll pull it up and, and it should say it's in Decatur. Okay. That is cool. But, uh, so I'm probably about... Hoping I'm there at 1 30. At 1 30? So two hours from now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm on my way back home. It's still, you know, probably another maybe 20 minutes and then another 30 minutes to just load up everything and then bounce. Okie dokie. Well, so. let me know when you're coming through Roanoke and then I'll, uh, I'll just head out from there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll text you when I leave my house. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. big guy to do that so plus uh, when I ride motorcycles I like to keep both wheels on the ground um, but we're gonna go see what it's all about we're gonna strap a GoPro to him and um, just try and get as much footage as we can um, see what happens
Hey, we just have a photo of me with this. Yeah. Have fun out there. Yep, 112 degrees. OTG, baby. Pretty good. That was pretty good. super crazy I hope that I got that because that was so much air like that's why I don't that's why I don't do this because of that right there uh, because I would want to do it and then with uh, the way gravity works um, usually not in my favor um, it would not end well for the track the bike or my poor little bones so we're gonna stay right here and we're gonna see if we can't get him again because he's uh, he's coming around. That my friend was insane. God bless America. God bless Texas too. I'm trying to decide if I want to get something to drink. I have almost completed or depleted every single Gatorade that I have. <laughs> but if there's one thing that big guys like myself is hard to turn down and it's barbecue and look what is right over there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a barbecue wagon barbecue should I go get some maybe we'll have to see Well, I am out here at Oak Hill MX Park. Um, it's a nice day for this, except for one thing, just one thing. It is 
hot. Extremely hot. You'll probably hear me say that a lot throughout this video. It's a pretty cool track. What the hell you got there? Oh, GoPro. GoPro, okay. Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube channel. Oh, are you? <laughs> so I uh, saw the barbecue sign and I was like, man, I'm fighting my, my big guy instincts here. <laughs> trying not to go over there to that barbecue truck. And as you can see, I didn't, no, it, it, I didn't make it, so. I'm, a, I'm bad about that myself. And it, ever since we've had this, I ain't hardly eat barbecue nowhere. But there's some places, you know, you look at and you're like, okay, you got to try them. You just, oh, yeah. I mean, I ain't bought barbecue in forever, but most, most of the time we go uh -huh. somewhere and I have my shirt on or whatever. They're like, oh, so you got a truck? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, fine then. He goes, they'll give me food. I said, next time you see me, you go give me food. I'm like, well, I ate a, a lot of food trucks and I'll never pay them down. Well, if you don't mind, I'll take some video of your truck and then uh -huh. That's fine. post it up on YouTube and see if you can't get any people. Where are you usually located? We're, we're set up here. We do Bowie, Bridgeport. Uh, we've been doing some stuff in Denton, Gainesville. Okay. Just, you know, we, do, we stay away from Fort Worth as best we can. But yeah, uh, that's a hard market. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Well, you have a good day. Oh, you too. Thank you. So I told you guys I wouldn't be able to stay away from the barbecue food truck because as a big guy, I have a big appetite. And um, I can very rarely ever turn down barbecue. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to let you know how it is. And if it's really good, then I'm going to advertise the truck because I did get his permission in there to videotape his truck with his name and all that stuff on there. So I'm going to let you guys know. That was delicious. Thanks, sir. I uh, will definitely be promoting you. Good deal. For Appreciate whatever. It. Now, I don't have very many viewers yet, but huh. you got to start somewhere, right? What, what's your YouTube? Uh, it's Big Guy, all one word, because uh -huh. I'm a big guy. Uh, ODS for Outdoor Sports. Okay, cool. Check it out. So, yeah. Ah, thank you. Uh-huh. Definitely, if you see that truck, give them your money, all of it for every piece of barbecue they have. It was delicious. Everybody. This is my buddy Jason. Uh, I told you I knew him. He wasn't just some weird guy out on the bike course that I was I was watching or whatever. I actually do know this guy. I've known him for uh, a few years now. What five six years? Yeah. About that. Uh, this is actually the first time I've actually come out here and watched him uh, ride, but um, did a pretty good job. Was it hot out there? Uh, yeah, yeah. About the sixth lap, I was starting to feel. Uh, like I needed to get off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine, man. So what is this OTG that you're wearing here? So OTG means on the gas. Uh, I kind of have a race everything motto because I like to race shifter carts and motocross and RC cars and go to the road course with a, with a sports car and tear it up. So um, our website's uh, on the gas uh, go check it out hats t-shirts uh, hoodies uh, some other swag as well so cool man cool one of these days if I get enough viewers are you gonna let me give away some of your stuff for free uh, yeah we'll have like a raffle or something absolutely cool man we'll see if we can't raise some money too to send you some races yep but 
you've got to tell your friends to subscribe because you're not going to get free stuff until we get subscribers. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to make sure that you get alerts for all the new videos. This is not going to be the last time you see Jason. He'll probably star in a couple of them, maybe more, depending on where we go with this. Um, and hey, if we get enough likes on this video, um, we're going to try to get him his own YouTube video for just this. That way, uh, you guys can follow him as well. Um, he's gonna start doing some races. When's the next race? Uh, right around June 21st through the 24th. It's the Loretta Lynn Regional Qualifier uh, to go to the Loretta Lynn, Loretta Lynn uh, National in Tennessee. Tennessee, uh, guys. Coming up at Three Palms uh, MX, uh, just north of Houston. Awesome, man. All right, well, thanks for uh, letting me follow you around today like a creeper. Um, I think I've got that down pretty good. You can ask my wife. But uh, anyway, take it easy, guys. guys.